Thank you very much, George. And I wanted to uh, uh, express special appreciation to Dr. Uh, Ray for bringing us together tonight. Uh, sadly, the stories that we're going to hear, I think some will be familiar to me because some of uh, the people who have agreed to share their stories tonight are people who came to my office. And although I advocated as much as I could on their behalf, we have not seen action from this government. I uh, recently, in March, I, or in February actually, I put together a dozen of these stories that I had heard in my office of people who are waiting absolutely unacceptably long uh, times to uh, access the surgeries they need. And I, I uh, wrote to the patient ombudsman and I asked her to do an investigation about what is happening in southwestern Ontario and in this Lynn in particular. Uh, we have seen a province that has just careened from healthcare crisis to healthcare crisis. If it's not mental health, it's access to surgery, it's long-term care beds, it is everything in our system is being affected by uh, a lack of leadership uh, on the part of, uh, of the government. And you know that something is wrong when physicians uh, start to, uh, you know, go to the streets, take to the streets and start to, to advocate on behalf of the patients that they are caring for. Um, we, uh, we have seen, uh, under this Liberal government, we have seen that patient health outcomes are getting worse. They're not getting better. People who have to wait uh, up to two years to access surgery, uh, they are then at increased risk of falls. Uh, they, uh, their mobility is so limited that they uh, become socially isolated. They are not able to participate uh, in the kinds of activities they used to before uh, they, uh, they, uh, uh, they, they became, uh, um, their joints became, um, uh, you know, uh, required surger surgical intervention. Uh, and we, we have, uh, this is creating additional costs to our healthcare system. By the time many of these patients actually get to the point of accessing the surgeries they need, the costs will be much greater to our system if we had, or compared to what it would cost if we had intervened in the first place. And that is a much more humane as well as cost effective way of, uh, of dealing with people. Uh, in the Southwest Lynn, we are waiting 35% longer than the provincial average to access surgery. And, and that is a concern because the province isn't even measuring the time that it takes from the family physician to the specialist. That is only taking into account the time from the specialist to the surgeon. And people in this area of the province are waiting longer than, uh, than people almost anywhere else in Ontario. And it is unacceptable, and we are continuing to raise this issue in the legislature. I was just elected in 2013, and I think one of my first questions was about uh, this very issue, uh, about uh, uh, access to surgery and, uh, and unacceptably long wait times in, uh, in London. Uh, it's been and now almost four years later, and we have yet to see any action on the part of this government. So again, I thank uh, Dr. Ray for having organized tonight's forum I really appreciate the uh, the patients who are uh, who have come here tonight to share those stories the more we can put a human face on the statistics I think the better our chances are finally getting this government to listen and finally doing something to address uh, this crisis in London thank you very much